Hello guys and girls and welcome back to whatever the fuck this is and today we're having a little bit of a rant Yes, a good old fashioned rant And this one is about Well, is YouTube killing off smaller channels? And there's a, there's a little something something going around between a lot of big channels these days and it's that they're getting less views than they once got which has led a lot of them to think there's a there's a conspiracy that YouTube is killing off smaller channels I'm not talking about small channels as in I was I'm talking about guys who have like 200, 300 thousand plus subs they're, they're the ones that are complaining, you know I think there's some global conspiracy to stop smaller YouTubers and they are smaller YouTubers in the, in the grand scheme of YouTube they are smaller YouTubers to stop them, you know, to, to just promote the big guys, just promote the guys that get all those 10 million views and all this type of shit. And the, the videos just get archived after a few hours, that the videos get shelved, not promoted out to anyone. And is there a global conspiracy by YouTube? Well, no. <laughs> a lot of these big YouTubers that are complaining about this type of shit are missing out on quite a few things, but blaming YouTube for you not getting views is is a, a great way to divert some responsibility the responsibility lies with you you know youtube is just a platform and it does help promote your new videos okay when you release a new video it takes it into its system and it puts it more it promotes it you know it puts it on the home page of a lot of people's feeds you know it puts it in the subscription feed it notifies people it also puts it in the up next column as well for a lot of people you know if you're a subscriber to them you'll see people's new videos there it helps promote your video out it does a baseline right right of how much it'll promote you out you know there's a baseline of what it'll do it'll put you on the home page of some people if it's getting watched by quite a few of them then it'll promote it more you know it puts in more effort the more that it gets back simple business model you know what i'm saying simple fucking business model so if it doesn't see that your video is performing well then it won't promote it as much it's as simple as that but the responsibility for getting it out there to new people and getting it out there to your subscribers lies solely on your feet you know i'm talking as your not as in you specifically i'm gonna say your as in as in a general thing rather than you specifically you know i'm talking to, about, to the big youtubers really that complain about this shit and a lot of the time, the big YouTubers aren't doing the very fucking basic things to help YouTube understand what your video is about. Simple fucking things which I talk about. Oh, which video was it? The Pareto principle, the 2080 rule. 20% of effort will get you 80% of the results. And it's so true. A lot of the big YouTubers don't do these simple, basic things, you know? A lot of the big YouTubers won't fill out the description. You know what I mean? They'll, they might put a line in there or something. They might put a sentence in there. You know? They won't put in an interesting descriptive title. They'll start, a lot of big YouTubers, when you get to a certain level, they start, they, they, the title changed into the, they go into like the leading questions, you know? Like, oh, I can't believe this happened. Or, oh, I didn't know that this would happen and all this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But that as a title just isn't very good. It's good for getting intrigue but it's not good for the algorithm it's not good for getting out there to new people it's not good for the search results you know these leading questions get your current subscribers potentially watching but to get out there and get more exposure no one gives a fuck about those leading question things anymore because there's so many done of them it's overplayed to fuck yeah a lot of big youtubers won't flirt description like i said they'll just put a line in there doesn't help whatsoever fucking ever with the algorithm as well doesn't help whatsoever because it knows nothing about your video. It knows fuck all about your video. Your video is one of hundreds, thousands uploaded every single fucking day. It knows nothing about them. They won't fill in the tags. They'll just keep in the default tags or they'll keep in a few tags because they think that tags don't do anything. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers don't help themselves. They don't help themselves. And then it comes into the main bit, which is getting your video out there. Now, a lot of big YouTubers that have been here for a while they rely on their subscribers to come back and watch. And what they'll, they'll just upload it, make it public, maybe send a tweet out, you know, maybe maybe send a bit of a Snapchat thing or some shit. And then they'll leave it at that. <laughs> and that shit just ain't enough anymore. That shit just isn't enough. You need to spend more time promoting your video than you do editing it. 
You can go like that one, motherfuckers. You need to spend more time promoting your video on the whole different gamut of uh, platforms that we've got out there than editing yet. Yeah? And speaking of editing, woo, let's get into them some more. A lot of these big YouTubers complaining that they're spending hours and hours editing their videos to get minimal returns. And let's say, let's say, let's say for argument's sake that they roughly make about 10 minute videos. If you're spending hours and hours making a 10 minute video, you're the fucking idiot. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. Unless it's some big adventure, you shouldn't be spending hours and hours making a video. Okay, it's just inefficient to fuck. Inefficient to fuck. Telling you what, it is bad. Fucking bad workflow, man. If you're spending hours and hours for a 10 minute video. Something fucking wrong there. Something wrong. <laughs> oh my word, these, I've getting them down to like, what, 30, 40 minutes now, and then the rendering process, but you can't really count that. 30, 40 minutes for these videos, man. Ugh. I can do like three or four videos a fucking day because of this workflow. But some of these dudes will spend hours and hours. Oh, they say they spend hours and hours. I don't know if they actually do or not. I think that's bullshit, to be honest. I, I can't imagine spending hours and hours on a video which is just talking. You know what I mean? It's nothing special. It's not like they're, they're going out to to on a journey somewhere. It's not like they're going on a tour somewhere. If you're going on a tour, then fine. I could understand the hours and hours because it's a lot of footage to go through. But if you're spending, if you're recording for hours and hours just for a 10 minute video, there's something fucking wrong there. You need to optimise your workflow a little bit, man. Optimise your delivery as well. So when people like start talking and then they'll spread it about over the course of like an hour or two. And then they'll have to try and find out these bits to make a coherent vlog. And it's like, fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck off. Just record in a block fashion that's all it's about man that's all that's the, that's one of the best things you could possibly do to get uh, to get you know to 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 make more of your time oh there's so many things what these big youtubers are doing but or not doing but they'll blame youtube instead of actually taking the responsibility themselves the responsibility lies squarely on the youtuber to get the views it really does youtube will help you a little bit but if you ain't getting the views, it ain't going to promote you. Why? Because it's a fucking business after all. Why would it promote a video that isn't going to get watched? That isn't going to keep people on the sites? That isn't going to make them money? Because that's what it boils down to. It boils down to making them money. That's what it is. It's a business, man. It's a fucking business. So why, why would you put your... Why would you, would you put your money into a, a failing stock? Would you fuck? You'd go for the solid winners. Not to say that you wouldn't put a little bit of something in, just in case, like it does. But you, you won't put all your eggs in one basket in these, in these small, unknown YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? And they don't help themselves by missing out on the basics. The title, the thumbnail, the description, the tags, the playlists, the fucking cards, the end cards. So many things what they don't do right. So many things what they don't do at all. But yet they'll blame YouTube for, for not promoting them enough, for shelving their video. Know what I'm fucking saying, man? Know what I'm saying? It's bullshit, is what it is. It's utter bullshit. So, instead of blaming YouTube, why don't you blame yourselves, right? And look at what you could do differently. Look at what you can do differently to optimize your time, to get the most out of it, to promote your video the most, to get out there to new audiences, to get out there on multiple platforms and promote your video. And guess what? Even if you're doing all of those fucking things, even if you're doing every single of the basics right, and promoting it out there, guess what the main fucking problem will be? It won't be YouTube, it'll be the topic. Simple as that, simple as that. It'll be the topic, the subject matter, what you're talking about, you know? Not everyone is gonna be interested in what you're gonna be interested in. And we can try and make things what people are solely interested in, but it won't work all the time, you know what I'm saying? People aren't going to watch every single video of yours just because they're a subscriber. They're really not, I, everyone should know this. Everyone should know that people aren't going to watch every single one of your videos because it's not going to be interesting to them. It's not going to be something that they want to watch or something that they're going to get. You know, they're not going to get something from it. So the topic, the content, the bit where you're actually talking is the main fucking problem then. If you're doing all the basics and you're still not getting views, then guess what? Your topics, your content, your videos are the problem. 
And a lot of these big YouTubers are now whinging. And guess what that's doing to their audience? It's alienating them. It's pissing them off. Because guess what? Your audience comes to your videos for a certain thing. They come to you, your channel, for a certain thing. And if you're not doing that certain thing anymore, and guess what? They're not going to watch. They're going to walk out the fucking door and piss off again. Oh. But no, it's YouTube's fault. It's YouTube's fault, isn't it? You know what I fucking mean? And a lot of these big YouTubers will be whinging about YouTube. Oh, it's YouTube. Nah, nah, nah. Not getting the views, not getting the money, not getting... Nah. And guess what? Look in the comments section of these big whinging YouTubers. A lot of people are pissed off at them. So guess what? You're just going to lose all those subscribers you've got because you're not doing the content what they've come to expect from you. Told you it was a bit of a rant, didn't I? Told you it was a bit of a rant. And it's just... It is just a platform. It is just a platform. You have to make the videos. You have to make the content. You have to promote it. You have to promote it. Yeah? A lot of these big YouTubers kind of segregate themselves from a lot of the community which is probably one of the worst things you can do to get your videos out there because a lot of these YouTubers you'll see they've got they'll have like thousands of followers say on Twitter but they'll only be following like 12 people or some shit you know what I mean there's this elitist attitude and the elitist attitude doesn't work anymore you know just because you got views years ago when it when whatever first started whatever genre you're in first started not many people were doing it guess what Everyone in the fucking mum is doing YouTube now. Everyone in the mum is doing YouTube. Everyone in the mum has, is a fucking motor vlogger right about now. But don't worry, we've got a high turnover in this. Ch <laughs> we've got a high turnover in this community. Seriously, man. Seen 400 people come and go. 400 people come and go in two and a half years. It's a fucking high turnover, that boys and girls. That is a fucking high turnover. But quit blaming YouTube for your own faults quit blaming youtube as a catch-all for you not getting the views quit blaming youtube and the algorithm people like to blame the algorithm oh my fucking god the algorithm's changed oh my god this is why i'm not getting views anymore guess what the algorithm's changed probably about 48 times in the past year and people are complaining about it roughly two or three times ah, look at that it's not the algorithm it's you it's you not doing the basics it's you not doing the promoting it's you just resting on your laurels and doing what you did years ago which worked for you because there weren't that many people doing it but now there is you've got to step up your game but they're not stepping up the game they just blame youtube oh, it's youtube's fault it's youtube's fault it's not youtube's fault it's your fault it's you it lasts so it the blame solely on you the blame is solely on you unless you're doing absolutely everything your topic your content is a hundred percent then you can blame youtube your topic is one of the best topics to talk about in the video your editing is sublime <laughs> your promotion is epic you're doing all the basics you're doing the title tags descriptions cards end cards playlists thumbnails you're doing all this and it is awesome it is perfect couldn't get any better only then can you blame YouTube for not promoting you? Maybe. Because <laughs> it's just a fucking platform. It's the soapbox that you stand on. Would you blame the soapbox for not getting as many people listening to you? No. Who would you blame? You blame the person standing on the motherfucker. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this little rant. If you did, slap a like on it. If you really like this and want to see more on YouTube, blah, 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 subscribe. If you want to see another video of mine straight away, check it out right there. Just for you, but for now, right safe. Peace the fuck out. Man, I love having a rant sometimes. <laughs> you can fuck off, sonny!